So wait a minute. First off, did you see how the Mad Hatter was like a pimp? <laughs> yeah. Okay. What are the What are the ten points for? All right. Do Do you want the loot? Uh. What is it? Shoulder no. guards. You sure? Yeah. Go ahead. Fuck it. All right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I can't believe we beat him that quick though. Like, oh, maybe you have to beat him before he gets big. Hello? Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah, so Mad Hatter was a pimp, and the Joker spit like acid at Harley. Like, how you gonna have a girlfriend that fine, and you just treat her like that? Well, he was fucking nuts, so... That's true, but like, you acting like a black guy. <laughs> hey, look at this! This dog, this dog turned normal. Yep, I seen that. Oh. Yeah, it was a person. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's up, bitch? Get it? Bitch. Well, she actually made herself dress like the character, too. She's dressed like a... Uh, the one superhero character in DC comic books that could do that is Vixen. Uh huh. I don't know if she was in, like, the Justice League cartoon or whatnot. No, no, I mean, do you get it? You know, bitch? Get it? Oh. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even... Didn't even get it. Yeah, I was like, what's up, bitch? You know, because she was a dog. The Falcone crime uh, let's see, we gotta complete that quest. These here, do this. Thugs are an improvement, you ask me. There's some Falcone hoods just south of here. Show them we've got a hero on our side, will you? Okay, where do we have to go? Did you do it? Oh. Uh, not yet. I'm still listening to, uh... Hold on. Alright, I completed the quest, and, um... They were talking to me. Oh, sorry. This guy's just gonna want us to take, you know, take out some thugs or some shit. That's cool, you get soda. I'm always trying to replenish my soda. You can buy soda, though. Man, fuck buying soda, well, you can get it for free. Okay, but where, where, where are the hoods, though? Oh, they're like the Bane people, that's an area. No, it ain't. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Arrest out Pony Hoods. I know they're gonna be inside the orange square on the map, though. Alright, you want this horn beetle helmet? No, no, I just gave it to you. Okay. Okay, so they're inside this square. Alright, that's... Alright, I think I see somebody right here. I don't know looks where like you he's are. Wearing a, looks like he's wearing a tracksuit, so if you see anybody wearing like an Adidas tracksuit, kill him. Adidas tracksuit. Yeah. The, the, the typical, the typical like... Stereotypical Russian? Yeah. <laughs> Russian or Italian. Yeah, yeah, that was him. Yeah, they wear sunglasses and like an Adidas jacket on. I know I found my guy in like an alley, so... Oh, here go one. Yeah. I just arrested him. Don't hurt me. Wow, she can turn into a gorilla. That's cool. No more pain, please. You seen it more? Nah. I'm trying to find him. No, he's a normal guy. Wow, these guys are sp okay. Here's the one. Up here's two. Where? Are you in front of me? Are you in front of me? Oh yeah, I'm at the end of the, end of the block where all these people are knocking them all down. Tap L2 and R2 to loot nearby items. Yeah, that just makes nearby uh, items or exobytes or something float into you. Oh. I don't know what the fuck that was. It's kind of. Kind of like a way so you don't have to go and pick up something, you can just, you know, have it just automatically grab it. Gotcha. Alright, here go another one over here. So I see there's more people doing this mission now. Right, we need five more. Check the roof. There's what there was some on the roof? No, no, I'm just checking it to see if I see any more. Yeah, these guys are these guys look sparse, like I don't see a lot of them. 
There's a question mark right here. What is this? Oh, nice. Loot item, sharpened seven of spades. You want it? Um, let's see. Let's see what the stats are. Nah, nah, I'm good. How can you check the stats? When you uh, see a weapon or, or let's say like an armor piece on there, on the on, the, on that same screen where it says pass greed or whatever, uh -huh. on the left side it'll, it'll show you the stats of it and, and will it equip uh, something better. Oh. Oh, that guy just threw up on that guy. That makes me miss the red lantern shit. He just what? He threw up on him. Wait, you said... who, Yeah, he th he threw up on it. The red lanterns throw up blood. Throw up blood. Yeah. That's it, to it, fight. It's kinda, yeah, it's kind of like a buff. Like they throw up blood on, 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 and create like an area of effect. Uh -huh. So the people in that area take damage, and then on and then your additional punching power or power damage increases. That's disgusting. Yeah, red lanterns were like shit. How is it the shit when you throwing up blood on somebody? That's disgusting. It looks cool. What if you got AIDS? Well, I'm pretty sure the ring will probably clean that up. No! Don't take away the venom! Yeah, but like, how they gonna clean it up? You the one throwing up blood on people. No, no I'm pretty sure the ring would clean it up. Oh. Like, the ring could probably purify that shit so you wouldn't be spreading AIDS on people. Oh, yeah, that's true. I mean, but you are the Red Lantern, so who gives a fuck if you do or you don't, right? Exactly, yeah. You ain't, you ain't gonna care. Fucking ass. Somebody, you know, conveniently killed these three, these two people for us. Thank you. Two more. I see one more right here. Take this guy. One more. Thank you, Egyptian dude. I actually need one more, though. Yeah, I know. Me too. Because we, you know, we're, we, we probably do the same thing. And here's the last guy. There we go. Silicone wafer, you want it? Nah. What are you? Get All off right. Me. So now what? Uh, we gotta turn in that quest, and then I guess we can start another one if you want. So we talk to him again? No, that guy. No, we could just complete it. Right. It it automatically completes. All right, sharpen synthium scythe. You want that? No. We don't really do shit anyway. All right, I'm trying to go to the journal right now. Someone must have tampered with Bane's venom. No doubt about it. We're looking at a full-scale gang war. But who started it? The Joker? Two-Face? The Penguin? Hmm. For now, head to the safe house. All right, mine is telling me to talk to uh, Batwoman back at the safe house. Yeah, she just said the same thing. But we didn't explore Wayne Legacy. No, you want to do that? Yeah, let's continue that right quick. Because that is incomplete. Alright, where is it? Okay, this way. Oh, oh we probably got to go guys. to Prime Alley and then talk, and then talk to... Uh, they probably got like a booster gold thing nearby. And, and he'll tell us that, oh yeah, the Waynes were probably shot and killed in this alley. All that mess. We're probably... <laughs> oh, because since Booster Girl work, worked at the museum, he knows all the history. Yeah, he knows all the history and, and you know, the future knowledge and shit, so. Oh, so that's why if he's, like, the go-to guy for, like, knowing shit. Um, yeah, but he doesn't tell it like that because, you know, it, it'll change history. So. But he keeps it to himself. Like, he knows, like, you know, important events and shit that's supposed to happen. Oh, did he have, ever have his own comic? Uh, I don't know if he had his own comic book. I know he's been in tons of other people's shit. Um, I don't think he's uh, he's never been that popular. Oh. I mean, he's popular for some of the the, the stories and stuff that he's been in. Uh huh. Like I know in the early '90s, he was like uh, he was the he he was the first person who named Doomsday Doomsday. Really? When he came, yeah. Yeah, when he um, Booster Gold came down, he was he was like the first guy who uh, who Doomsday saw. 
Uh-huh. And he tried to fight him, and then you know before he got to Superman and everything like that. Then when he you know Superman, everybody found him. It was like, yo, what the fuck happened? Who the fuck beat you up? He was like Doomsday, because that's all Doomsday would say. He you know he you know all he would say was just Doomsday. What Doomsday would just say his own name like a fucking Pokemon? Yeah, well when, when Doomsday first came out, came about, he didn't talk. He only said two words: it was Doomsday and and Metropolis. That was it. So. But that's not in, in Doomsday Day's origin story. It was him meeting Booster Gold, was it? No. But in Booster Gold's story, he met Doomsday first. No, 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 no. They're not an origin story at all. Booster Gold was just. I'm just saying, Booster Gold was the first person to name Doomsday because he didn't have a name. Well, that's what I'm saying. So, like, after he named him, Doomsday just kept saying Doomsday? No, no. That's all Doomsday would say. When Booster Girl was whooping his ass and making and and, um, and and talking, you know, trying to talk shit to him, Doomsday was like, uh, let's say, like a retarded kid. Though he would only say like Doomsday. That's all he would ever say if he did say anything. So that's why when other people asked him, you're like, who the fuck whooped your ass? And he said Doomsday. That's why he said that. Listen here, cuz. So, I mean, but oh, when when everybody asked who who that. Yeah, because they didn't know who, you know, they didn't see him. They just knew somebody was going around beating, whooping ass and tearing, you know, going through like 50-something superheroes. No, what I'm saying is like, who asked who, who whooped your ass? Oh, when when other heroes found Booster Gold after Doomsday, like, damn near killed him. That was the only thing he said. You want this, uh, Detective Crispus Allen? No, I'm good. All right. Oh, so so he's the one that so he pretty much just repeated what the fuck he heard. Yeah, yeah, that's all he did. Oh, okay. So wait, it, it, since we're supposed to be here, it's it's supposed to be here somewhere. Yeah, we got it. It's it's on the roof. Oh, it's on the roof. There are places in Gotham's East End where even Booster Gold fears to tread because they're creepy and dangerous. Worst is Crime Alley. Once an upper-class area known as Park Row, Crime Alley got its name for the murder of Thomas and Martha Wayne, two of Gotham's most prominent philanthropists. Their deaths marked Gotham's slide into tragedy and despair. <laughs> no, it didn't. It was already like that. But people just take notice when rich people die. Mm -hmm. All right, now it says we got to go back this way. Can you see me on the map? Yeah, yeah, I'm following you. She got now pizza. Yep. Man, dude, older pizza. So I much pizza. Yeah. It's a habit. It's all right. I want pizza too, though. Can't have no carbs right now, though. Dr. Leslie Tompkins. The East End Free Clinic offers health care to anyone who seeks it, including known criminals. It operates under a strict no-violence policy, respected by even Gotham's most hostile psychopaths. Here, there is always someone who wants to help. This Booster Gold endorsement was provided free of charge. Wow, this booster gold endorsement was provided free of charge. <laughs> like, if, if I was a legit superhero, I would fucking hate him. <laughs> that's, what's, that's, that's how he is, man. He got, like, he, he got, like, company logos plastered all over his suit and shit, like a race car driver. Yeah. Such a dick move. But that is like extremely smart and clever. Give me this. Do these things ever go away? Oh uh, yeah, once you get them, that's it for the most part. Oh, okay. You uh, um, it's like once you go through them all, they give you like you know like a few hundred points of experience. So it's kind of like free experience just for learning about you know the different events in, in Gotham. Bitch, I don't run. Run for your lives! Shit. I run too, motherfucker. Damn, this is a tall ass building. Yeah, yeah we gotta go past it. It's, it's not on top of it. I know, I just want to get some height. 
<laughs> I think it's this way. Yep. Man, I hate looking at the map trying to, like, you know, use the map to run. Mm. I fucking hate it. It's so discombobulating. Okay, so that's below me, so... Oh. Right here. Nope, it's above me now. Oh, here it is. This is the original Wayne Enterprises building. The company was founded in the 17th century, and the construction of this building in the 1800s marked the beginning of the, um, beginning for the world's largest multinational conglomerates. Many people in the East End have Wayne Enterprises to thank for improving their lives. Sound like he barely knew about that. <laughs> Wayne Enterprises sucks. Stark Industries for life. Uh, I can't say that. Stark Industries, like, it's such a it's such a selfish ass company. <laughs> like, at least Wayne Enterprises like was giving back to like orphans and the poor and shit, and yeah, doing stuff for like the community. Fucking Stark Enterprises is like, motherfucker, I want to make more money. It was about changing the world. Who? Stark Industries. Man, no, they wasn't. No, they did. It was they about, did, they it was did about more destroying stuff. They did more in their shit than, than Wayne Enterprises did in helping people. How? How so? Giving the world free energy. Did they, though? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, they did? Yeah, in the comic books, yeah. Making a, a, an experimental, you know, smart car that was like, you, had, you, you only had to buy this one car your whole life. And it will last you your whole life, saving people time and money. Okay, was that was that the original thing that they did? No, that was recently, like in the past few years. Well, there you go. You can't talk about something that's in the past few years, but I'm talking about like the whole lifetime. Oh, I'm sorry if making guns and bombs to fight in wartime is bad. Motherfucker, it ain't bad, but giving it to the people who you're fighting against is. Well, he didn't give it to him. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, who, where do we go? Oh, in here. Uh, we got, yeah, we got to talk to Batwoman. There's a, no, there's an X over here somewhere. Oh, the Booster Gold thing. Gotham's East End has seen more than its share of tragedy. To those who work tirelessly to bring hope back to this troubled area, I award an official Booster Gold Gold Star of Excellence that I just now created. This is history in the making, people. You'll tell your grandchildren about this one day. Wow, that's that's hilarious. <laughs> I didn't talk to her. Gold star of excellence. <laughs> Did he just not create it? Uh, when you talk to her, does it does it start a mission? No, it just like she just congratulated you for beating Bane and uh, Scarecrow, and we probably got to turn him in. Okay, let me do that if right you quick. Don't get that venom off the streets. We're looking at a real Gotham gang war. The fuck? She just told me like if I don't get this shit off the streets. I just did that though. The hell, I can't complete my quest. What you mean? Like I'm clicking on the journal and it says Bane brought down. And then it's like, you know, spoke with Batwoman and, and, and it's telling me to complete it. So when I hit the X to complete it, it's like it just doesn't do anything. Yeah, you have to wait a little bit. Look at this one over here. Dang. That fire. Brazilian superhero. You know, she's almost naked. I hate how the I hate how the fucking like shitty ass hairstyle is covering up the butt. <laughs> Let's see. Oh wow, no, that's a perfect angle to butt right there. She's completely naked. Yeah, yes she is. Man, but that bump that that bump that butt is kind of bumpy. <laughs> Not really. It's kind of sharp. Kind of sharp. You know, from this angle, you look like a fucking giant. Like you're tall as fuck. Hold on. Oh, what you got the camera like on the floor? Yeah. Alright, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. The galaxy arms look kind of cool, but the purple that aura around you is kind of like subtracting away from your overall look. 
Well, I can take it off. Not like this bumpy bitch over here, bumpy butt bitch. <laughs> bumpy butt bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Where them nipples at though? Where them nipples at though? She oh she must be wearing pasties on. All right. Um. Nope. It's still not giving me the uh, option to complete the mission. Let's leave out and let's see if you can complete it then. All right. Hold on. It must be some like yeah. See. This is a the server problems right there because it's not letting me complete shit and I'm still kind of lagging a little bit, mm. like I'm dropping frames. And I know that, yeah. huh? Maybe they are having uh, issues with the server and whatnot. Yeah, because we it should be allowing us to complete shit. But I don't know. Since it's having issues, you just want to call it here and then uh, start back up another time. Uh, definitely gonna have to. So yeah, it's, uh, I'll... it's black and stuff. Ain't no point playing. I hope you guys enjoy these videos. Uh, we will continue to make more. Uh, just leave your support in the comments below and let us know what do you guys think. And uh, what else would you want to see us do with this series? Just like go through the whole thing and because we can, just let us know. And uh, we will catch you guys on the next episode. Peace out, everybody. Wow, these, these guys must be brothers because they got the same fucking look and everything. Uh, we got uh, this Nightwing wannabe and tactical Nightwing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much.